these, select those two and create a seam for the underside of the sleeve. These for the side of the shirt. Same process here. Create a seam here. Make a multi-segment. Create a seam there. And then finally create one more seam there. So now I've got this shirt the panel set within Garment Maker. And that's something I'd probably like to keep. So let's go ahead and save this as we've got it. With shirt pattern GM applied. Just so we have it in case. Alright, it's never a bad thing to save inside of Max. So now that we've got this shirt set up, we're going to put cloth effects on it. And in here, we'll make the shirt cloth and we're going to change its damping. We're going to add the generic man, make him a collision object. And again, I'm going to check. I have no gravity turned on right now, which is what I want. I'm going to tell it to simulate local damped. Whoops. And so I've got a couple of problems with the sleeves that I really don't want to deal with. So I'm going to look at, again, the, the state. When I reset that state, so I'm going to reset it. Go back down to Garment Maker. Panel Subobject Mode. Actually, let's go to Seam Subobject Mode because I realized, well, I do have a seam there. That's good to know. But both of these are too high. So let me grab this. And when I start to move it, something interesting happens. This is, this is a good tip because this tends to scare a lot of users. They go, oh, it's broken. It's not working. Well, ClothX is actually working right now. But what you're seeing here is the top of the stack because you've got show end result turned on or off. And so by moving this panel in a sub-object or a sub-object mode of a, a modifier that's not at the top of the stack, you're not actually seeing it update. So what you need to do is turn this off and then manipulate your panels in your sub-object mode. If you ever get that where you've just got the spring lines the sewing springs moving but you don't seem to get anywhere else. Let's rotate this around just a little bit. Maybe get a little bit better fit there between those. So I'm just going to go ahead and mesh it because if I didn't and went back up to cloth effects these two panels would appear to jump back up. So I need to tell cloth effects to read the new information there. Alright so let's simulate local again try and make sure this time we've got there it goes both of these sleeves are actually moving across and underneath the arm the way they're supposed to now the shirts awfully big this is a very big nightshirt and the first bit of tailoring that we want to do is we want to basically uh, shrink this down now instead of having to go back and shrink the pattern or anything like that cloth effects gives you a couple of ways to do this the most easy and effective way to do it is within the shirt properties, the object properties, we've got U and V scale. So I can bring this down to let's say 0.875 in both U and V scales. And without having to do much of anything else, I'll hit simulate local and you'll notice I now have this wonderful it's like a baseball t-shirt now because I've got these three quarter length sleeves. Well that's the second part of doing this. So right now I've got this baseball tee and what I want to do is extend the sleeves back out somewhere in that general area around the, the wrists. Now if I turn this off it's going to look like I'm going back down to the original if I move back down in the stack. Well don't forget that show in result toggle works both ways. So that if I move back down to my garment maker it's still reading all of the data of everything being put back together. So in this case let's go and grab the original spline and I'm going to grab both sets of the sleeve ends and I'm just going to extend them out just a little bit. Don't need to do too much. I can always go back and add. It's usually better to kind of increment it slowly instead of overdoing it all at once because you are going to get forces. Remember that once I change the topology on here to match, I'm going to preserve 
this spline, it's going to pass up the stack from this reference back into Garment Maker. It's going to change the topology of the sleeves. And considering these springs have a kind of a default rest state, imagine these springs now have been compressed. They need to be pushed back out. So they're going to push both ways. So the shirt up here might crumple too if you're not careful. It's a very, you've got to be kind of delicate with doing this. So what I'm going to do is say mesh it and preserve and watch the topology of the shirt change. There you go. So now I've got more springs here, or more segments in this area, and they're going to want to be pressed back out. So if I go back up to, to cloth effects, and remember, turning this off, and that's the state I'm going to get now when I come back down the stack. So I can, if I hit reset state, if I don't like the way something is, again, very handy to think about turning on and off that modifier. So let's do simulate local damped. And you'll see the sleeves are now growing. Now they're wrinkling a little bit. Because the sleeves are trying to find their default state again. And so you need to let this run for a little bit to let it settle out, to let all of the, the bits and the pieces within these segments settle back down again. Now again, remember, I'm not running with gravity, so the last thing I might want to do once I got the length right is apply gravity, and that would certainly smooth out, you know, it looks like the, the shoulders have, have poofed up in the sequence again, but if I were to, to do that and then turn gravity back on, say simulate local, you'll notice now as it starts to drape, all of that goes back away. Then I get this nice smooth and I got a much longer sleeve. And I didn't have to lose all of the work that I was I had done up to that point. So that's a very handy technique to changing and tweaking and doing minor tailoring to your garments without actually having to lose the original. Just remember you make a reference, you work off of the reference. Don't be afraid to turn gravity on and off as you're tweaking these things because you can always go back and you can simulate and let it build up and, and uh, expand in specific areas and then you turn on gravity to make it settle back across the form. It's just a matter of playing with it that way to get those to work out. So if you wanted to tweak the shoulders for instance, you would go back in and adjust the points of the matching sides and bring those in. And so you can, as long as you plan ahead, you can build out and, and tailor your clothing as you're moving along.